Hey, what's going on, guys? How we doing? So I was watching um, Hard Knocks, probably my favorite television show on TV. I love it. Um, I'm a little bit behind, so I'm watching. Uh, I watched episode one uh, last night, and I want to talk a little bit um, about a scene with J.J. Watt in it. I'll uh, I'll let you watch the scene first. It's a little long. Um, it's about two minutes. If you want to fast forward, you can. But I check it out if you haven't seen it yet. Um, and then we will talk about the scene um, in a few minutes. This is uh, right at the end of team practice. They practiced um, for most of the day, and this is getting pretty late at night now, and practice has basically just ended. All right, so um, I'm going to actually turn the volume down here for a second, and um, I'll play that in the background while I talk. Um, so some people might say that he, he did this for the cameras because um, they're on hard knocks, um, and I don't know, maybe a little bit of it is for the cameras. But I will say that I've played with and against a lot of really good players, and again, I'm, I'm looking at this from a baseball perspective. Um, but you hear a lot of times about it happening in all sports. Um, and in my experience, it's it's what you do um, first when no one else is watching. It's what you do outside of your organized team activities that really uh, separate the really good players from um, just the average player that's going to be, you know, OK, but probably won't reach their full potential. Um, and that's especially true at younger levels of baseball um, and uh, in all sports in general uh, because you don't have as many team activities when you're younger. Um, if you're on a, a baseball team that works out, say, um, say you have winter workouts, you're not a professional. You're not going to have seven days a week practice for five hours a day. Uh, and even in season, you may not have very many practices. You may not have long practices. So uh, the guys that just put in work when they have to at team practices, that's not enough. The guys that get really, really good uh, and the guys that continue to move up in their sport are the guys that put in the work outside of team activities. Team activities are great to get coaching, to start to understand what you want to do, whether it's hitting or pitching, you get the instruction. And then you have to go on your own, on your own time, go grab a buddy, go grab a relative, a parent, a brother, somebody, or do it by yourself. And then you have to go put that work in, um, in all the other hours in the day. So um, if you're only practicing for the two or the four hours a week with your team and that's the only time you're picking up your glove or you're picking up your bat 
That is not even close to enough. And again, I'm not saying you have to do, uh, you have to go every single day. You don't. But I usually tell our guys and, and talk to when I talk to kids, um, you want to do a little a lot and not a lot a little. You don't want to just practice for two hours one day or three hours one day and then take the rest of the week off. I would rather guys put in a little bit of work every single day. If you do that, then you continue to build your skill and it's that consistent repetition over and over, day after day after day, that really makes you a better ball player in all areas of the game. Um, and again, the best players I've played with are guys that do this, guys that put in the work before practice and early work, after practice, when no one else is watching. They don't have to be told. That's the biggest thing. If you have to be told what to do and when to do it and you only do things when you're told, you're not going to make it very far. You have to tell yourself. You have to be one of those self-starting kind of people that will do it on your own. No one has to tell you to do anything. You understand what needs to be done. You have the discipline to do it, even if it's something that's not really enjoyable. If it's working out and you just don't happen to work out, you have to have the discipline to do it. Whether it's if it's working on your defense, if you're a great hitter and you, you don't love playing defense, you're not a great defender, you have to be disciplined enough to put in the work by yourself, even though you might not love doing it. That's what really, again, separates the really good players from just the average player. So um, I just wanted to show you guys this. I've heard a lot about J.J. Watt and his work ethic. Um, and like I said, if you stick just with football, there's so many examples of the guys that are really good. I was actually watching um, a little thing on Peyton Manning, um, and they were talking about how he'll grab a different receiver each day, and they'll go out either really early before practice or they'll stay late after practice. And they will work for 30, 45 minutes on a single route. So they'll work on one single route and they'll run it over and over and over and over and over again so that that one route is perfected. And then the next day, they work on a different route with maybe a different player or maybe with the same player. And so that's how they're able to get so, so good at it. It's not, it doesn't happen by accident. And again, it doesn't happen in just a few hours of practice. It happens before practice. It happens after practice. It happens on off days. That's when the, the, the really big steps are taken. And again, those, that's the separator for me. So let me know if you have any questions. Um, if you have not watched Hard Knocks, you should watch it. I, uh, I watch it because I love football. Um, but I always feel like I get something out of it. I love watching the personalities of the coaches um, to see you know, what makes them tick, what it is that they do that's allowed them to get to the top of, of their profession. Um, and you also get really cool clips to see what players are doing. You know, what, are, what are making some players um, not as good as they probably should be? Um, and what's, what's allowing the, the really good players to be really, really good and to be great. So uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, leave in the comment section below. Um, like the channel. Um, share the video with all your friends. All that good stuff. And we will talk to you later.